You, socialite Rebecca Grossman, who was charged in the hit and run crash that killed two young boys, appeared in court today for her pre-trial hearing. The co-founder of the Grossman Burn Center is charged with two counts of murder and vehicular manslaughter for the crash that happened nearly three years ago. KTLA Sandra Mitchell joins us live from Van Nuys, where the boy's mother spoke out about her loss and her fight for justice. Sandy. Cher and Micah, you are about to hear the frustration, the sadness in this mother's voice. She has had to endure years of delays, but after what happened in court today, it now appears the trial of Rebecca Grossman will start next month. I think she didn't care enough to come to court. Almost three years after her young sons were run over and killed in a Westlake Village crosswalk. If she cared, she would have shown up. Nancy Iskander stood outside the Van Nuys courthouse today, still pushing for justice. It's been a trend, right, of the lack of responsibility and, and just the complete disregard of the two lives that were gone, that were just taken like that. Grossman's defense team said they did not know Grossman was required to appear, and later she did come to the courthouse. Grossman faces two counts of second-degree murder, two counts of vehicular manslaughter and hit and run causing death for the September 2020 crash. Prosecutors allege she was drunk, had Valium in her system, and was driving her Mercedes SUV more than 80 miles an hour as she approached the intersection. Iskander told us she is appalled by what she calls Grossman's lack of remorse. I've seen her actually pose to take a picture and say that her life is now a nightmare because Morgan and Jacob died. How would you feel about that? The defense will argue that the city of Westlake Village knew the crosswalk at Triumphu Canyon Road was dangerous and that Grossman was not impaired. Defense attorneys also tried to have the charges dismissed, causing delays in the trial. Nancy Iskander says she will testify against Grossman and for her boys. They had so much in front of them, so much in this life, all of my hopes, all my dreams, and they're just, they were just taken. If I want to see them, I have to go to the cemetery or just look at their friends and try to imagine how they would look like. We did reach out to Rebecca Grossman's attorney today, called him several times, but we did not hear back. By the way, Rebecca Grossman is free on $2 million bail. We're live tonight outside the Van Nuys Courthouse. I'm Sandra Mitchell. Back to you. Sandra, thank you.